welcome to the beginning of Yelena Lower Street. KL's biggest collection of roadside restaurants. Let's go over and have a look. It starts over there. Once you make it to the street, you have no doubt that you're in the right place. Restaurants are everywhere. Food, fruits, looks lovely and the smell of charcoal and grills burning across the road over there. Get into the area. Here we have the durian fruit. You can smell it. It's not as bad as people say. It's early evening and already there's a hustle and bustle everywhere. Sweet sautés. Some coconut ice cream. behind me, show you the direction we are, where we came from. On the one side there is stores, on the other side there's more restaurants with chairs. We'll take the other side on the way back. Hello, hello! A freshly packed, freshly pressed fruit juice. In front of that, we've got the lovely potatoes. It really smells lovely, this. Those potatoes were potato twisters. with some very fresh looking seafood over there. Just above the market we've got a hotel here. Looking down on the on the road where it's all happening. A big popcorn stand. Mardo getting some Instagram and Facebook is for us. So it's starting to get a little bit darker than when we arrived. And some more dim sum. Pork, fish, rib. Really looking good. That's what you call fresh dim sum. Lovely presentation of food. It's different prices depending on the color of the stick. Looking really good and very fresh. Some look like frog legs. 
Crubs. Crubs, yes. Crubs. Oh, no. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Barbecue steam. Can steam, can fry, can barbecue. Lai lo lo sao khao lai hao chua nai. Yo, what did I get? Barbecue. Hi. Chestnuts. We have a freshly baked cake. That's behind the stands, there's a shop in the background. And here we have something called otak otak. Tasted that in Singapore. It's very delicious. It's grilled fish meal in a banana leaf. The durian actually smells rather nice. It's very fresh and sweet. The restaurant there in the background. Another fruit stand. And there are more and more people coming as we move up along the market. It really looks like we're coming down to the main eating area here. Funny that this road hasn't been closed off as a walking road. You can see that cars coming straight at me. I'm facing the direction where we came from. So, Maro, taxi behind you. Maro, watch out for the car. Right here, we have a sugar cane machine. Sugar cane is waiting to be. One really has to watch one's back with all these cars coming in from behind. Looks like it's a one way road. Look at the way these sausages have been cut. Coming in for some more dim sum here on my right. So colorful and so nicely presented. We've got some rather fried food. Anybody want ice cream? They have the ice cream prices and the ice cream types. Fresh lemonade. Called Tonga Dali. The banging you can hear behind me is the uh, ice cream being made, fresh ice cream. Let's have a look at that now. Uh, well, let's have a look at it now. It's the ice cream being made. Quite a show, the making of it. Scrape it together in little rolls. Some peanuts and some Japanese sweet potatoes. Good looking chicken there, straight ahead. Some musicians here setting up for the evening, provide the entertainment. Looking back in the direction we came from. 
Some more sugar cane coming up there in the up ahead. The prices seem very reasonable. Now we're just passing a little crossroad. Carry on walking through the food area. I must say, all these restaurants look lovely. Lovely looking cakes here when you need dessert. Layer cakes. Better just get a shot of that again. Somebody just walked in front of my, my shot. And here we have what looks like heads, feet, and necks. From ducks, huh? They look like ducks, yes. Well, that's a definite duck. It looks like the eye is still in it. If you find yourself needing a 7-Eleven, there's one here in the middle of everything. It's still relatively early for the evening. So many of the customers haven't made their way down here, I can see. Nearing the end of the road now. Start going back the other way. And here's a little place where those of you who want to smoke a pipe. A shisha. It's called shisha. For those of you who want to smoke a shisha, this restaurant has a a few of them. Only 20 ringgits. Only 20 ringgits. Oh yes. Only 20. Come. Only 20 ringgits. Yes. Yes. You don't smoke. I don't smoke. It's for my YouTube viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so 20 ringgits. Oh, double up all means no problem. Well, here we've reached the end of the street. I'm dying to go have a look at that uh, lamb on the spit just ahead of me. And then we'll turn back and start going the same way back we came. Guys, a lovely lamp on the spit. Looks beautiful. It smells so good too. And there you have the lamb barbecue. And it's hidden away there in that box. There's some more ice cream. And corn on the cob is always a winner. Look at all the smoke here from the satays. There's the end of the street. Now we'll turn back and go the other way. And the durian here are king durians. See, there's a lot of interest from the Asians to get photographs of them, so I believe it's a very special delicacy here in Asia. Must be quite an art to select the correct durian. And buy some pre-packed durian fruit, various prices. And here we have the satay. And some fresh satay is being put on the fire. You can still smell the smoke and see the smoke from the satay here. Yeah. So here we are on... What's the street? <laughs> uh, okay, we met uh, Thomas and Sheena from Chasing a Plate. If you haven't checked out their channel, please check it out. It's a really good channel. We've been following it for months. And they are Chasing a Plate around the world and have been doing it since October 2016. So I'll leave... Uh, to be with these guys Kuala Lumpur. I'll leave a link to the website in our uh, in our description down below, and uh, please follow them. Check out their videos; they're very good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. 
That's Mono here in front of me. Just how many people they are here. We have a Colesburg bar here. The waitress is wearing Colesburg uniform. because there were some very spicy smells in the air. This looks like one of the biggest restaurants here on the street. It's all one place. coming to the end of this video now. You can see the end of the road just ahead. So we reached the end of the street. We hope you enjoyed this food tour of this fantastic road. So much to see, so much to eat. If you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, see you. Bye bye.